All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So I said I was going to be looking at that the two new Fright for Monsters, and here we are, finally. I actually wanted to do it last week, but then I got caught up with reviewing the other cards, but I wanted to come back to this. Uh, I really like Fright First. I really do. But uh, it's been a while since I played them. I played them for one month in Daily Duels, and, you know, one of the flaws of Daily Duels is, yeah, well, we do ro rotate decks out much quicker, you know, once every month. Uh, I'm stuck with the decks I play. And when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh!, Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with the channel, how the channel is right now, daily content, daily duels, it's so much of a job that I don't play it for fun, you know? Like, it's just like, why sit there and play Yu-Gi-Oh for fun when, you know, I could just record and, you know, do something like that. So, you know, it's not very often that I play for fun and therefore I don't get to play with uh, Fright First, even though I really do like the deck. I think it's really strong. I think it's really good. It has great plays, you know? It does the fusion mechanic, in, in my sense, kind of right. Like, it, it's really... That's a really strong deck. Like, the only way that it could get stupid OP is if they ever gave it, like, a, a card that you could fuse from the deck. But, you know, especially with Fright for Wolf, like, you're dead. Or even Fright for Tiger, the Tiger. Like, literally, I just go fuse all the material from my deck and then just summon Tiger. And Tiger pops every single card on my opponent's side of the field. So, you know, eh, they can't do that. But outside of that, outside of not having a fusion card from the deck, which I think, in a sense, is kind of OP. I mean, Shadals and the Red Eye shit, just kind of like, oh my god, why do you get the fuse from the deck? Yeah, you're not even using your resources. Uh, they do fusion right, and I like that. So, uh, when I heard that they were getting some new cards, it's just nice. You know, I actually saw uh, this card that we're reviewing today, Fry for Ka Kraken, in the anime before I saw it as a real card. So, I was kind of wondering what they were going to do with it. Because, you know, Sora summoned Kraken, and I was like, okay, well, what does it do? They don't really, the only thing that it did was it tapped twice. And I was like... If that's all it does, then that's kind of meh. Because attack twice, I mean, if I wanted to attack twice, even multiple times, I'd just go into Wolf. Why would I go into Kraken? So they got to do a little bit better than that. And I say they did. So let's go ahead and look at this. So this is Fright for Kraken. He is a water. Water, okay. I just thought the Fusion Monsters were dark. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's been a while since I looked at them. But I could have swore that they're... Majority of the time they were dark because they're evil versions when you fuse and you you know you combined with your uh, edgems and stuff like that. But no, no alright. Uh, Fiend fusion effect monster level eight, twenty two hundred attack, three thousand defense. That's are fine. I mean, t kind of the text kind of low for a level eight, but I mean you got three thousand booty. So, and with the fact you, you'll you'll see you'll see you'll be okay with it. Uh, its materials are one edge monster plus one fluffle monster. I like how generic it is. That it doesn't have to be edge of scissors. Because sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, edge of scissors, edge of scissors, edge of scissors. I mean, it's one of the main reasons why uh, you play King of the Swamp. Not only for the grab of the poly, but also the name as well. But no, this is just any edge monster you want plus any fluffle monster you want. So that's, that's nice. That's nice. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the effect. So first effect. Once you turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. This card cannot attack your opponent directly during the turn you activate this effect. I mean, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. You don't destroy it, you just send it to the graveyard. Just, you target it. I mean, of course, targeting is not the greatest thing, but just target it if it's targetable. Send it to the graveyard. You can't attack this uh, directly this turn, but it doesn't say you can't attack, so you can still just go ahead and attack the rest of the monsters. So that's not, that's not a terrible effect. Actually, I like that. I like those kind of effects that, you know, if you don't deal with this card immediately, each turn, I'm just going to, you know, keep hurting you and hurting you and hurting you, you know? And especially since I have, you know, I mean, 2200 is nothing to scoff at, but I have a 3,000 uh, 3, booty. I could just really sell this card in defense mode, you know, good luck attacking over it with my 3,000 booty. I mean, of course you can, but I'm just saying, you know, I have a 3,000 booty. That's not a scoff at. You can't even just summon a blue eyes and attack over this, you know? And I just keep sending the monster, keep sending the monster, keep sending the monster, so... Uh, next effect. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. As if you have multiple battle phases at times, I don't know. But, that's the effect of the enemy. It just attacks twice. So, that's not terrible. So, I can, if you have, like, three monsters, I can use the, my first effect, send a monster, and then attack the other two monsters. I can literally take out three monsters with this one card. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. That's, that's nothing to uh, scoff at. And then the last effect, which is, I think, awesome as well. At the end of the battle phase, this card battle. You can change this card to defense position. Oh, got get your get your Dante on, get your Dante on. I can go with that. So I send attack, attack, and then during the end of the battle phase, turn myself defense mode. So now back to my three thousand booty, turn it to attack, send the card, attack, attack, rinse and repeat. So this card is actually pretty strong. Uh, this effect is optional though. So uh, 
I can choose to turn into defense mode, but I don't have to. You know, I believe I believe with Dante you have to turn into defense mode because I I think that even when people like forget to turn Dante to defense mode, you know, they you know, it still gets turned into defense mode. Let me go ahead. This is the last time I actually read Dante. Let me actually read Dante, blah blah blah. This card attacks, it is changed to defense mode position at the end of the battle phase. So unlike Dante, this card is optional. You can change it to defense mode. You don't have to if you forget. That's on you, so you can stay with only 2200 attack, but I mean 2200 attack and stuff. I mean, you're not the attack barrier, but still, still, the stats are fine, you know? It's not like you're 1000 attack or something like that. But uh, overall, I like this card. I like how generic it is as a fusion. I like its first effect, the, you know, send a monster. doesn't even target, just send a monster. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I mean, it's fair that, you know, I can't attack directly when I'm trying to do this, because that'd be kind of jank if I could just be like, send your only monster, attack you directly twice. I mean... I mean, it's not like Fluffles to kill you by attacking you, <laughs> Wolf. But, uh, I mean, that would be 4400. But I can still attack uh, in general, and that's nice. It's, at least they make it so. This card cannot attack during the turn to activate attack. No, it's just directly. So I can still attack other monsters. I can make a second attack during the battle phase, so that means I can kill more monsters. And then, you know, if I don't use the fact, I mean, I still get to attack directly. But it's not even like BLS where I have to kill a monster to then get an additional attack. It's just I get to make two attacks, so that's pretty good. And then go to defense mode as well, Dante style. So, overall, uh, I think the card has its own spot, it's made its own bed. You know, I was kind of worried that when I, an anime, when I only saw it just attack twice, I'm like, okay, well, what's the point of creating a football monster that attacks twice when you have Wolf who can attack as many times as the material, which is used material, you know, generally you have to at least minimum two to make him, he attacks twice, you know? But this card came into its own, uh, with its first effect and its turn defense, uh, kind of Dante-esque. Effect. So overall, I, I, get, I give this card a thumbs up. If I ever play Fluffles again, it, it would definitely go in my uh, in my extra deck. Because when I play Fluffles, I mean, there's not too many Fluffle monsters that I was like, yay, the summon. You know, I mean, you play the sheep, you play the tiger, you play the saber, you play wolf. But outside of that, not anything else. You don't even play that big old death toy golem or whatever. It's just it's not worth it, you know. But uh, I would definitely throw this in the extra deck along with other things, you know, probably some rank three plays because they have a lot of access to that. So, uh, not only did uh, Kraken come as a new fusion monster, but there's also a little Octo, you know, a little uh, uh, not Fright for Monster, big old Fright for Monster, a little Fluffle uh, Octopus as well. So he'll probably be adorable. We're going to go ahead and look at him in his effect on Wednesday. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Like I said, we are running out of time until our break. Like, the series, I'm gonna tell you right now, after it, my channel changes and all that, the series will not go away. It will not go away. I'm still debating on whether it would be once a week or twice a week, and I'm leaning more towards twice a week because it just seems like if I, especially when I only do one card, if I only do one card once per week, I'm like Fake Card Friday when it's like, I can do it whenever, you know, we'll get it done and we're in no hurry while uh, cards just keep coming and coming. I don't wanna fall behind or leave uh, any particular card behind, so we'll probably keep it as twice a week. Uh, you know, we have this is over, so Wednesday and then Monday, next Monday, I believe. Uh, yeah, Monday the 31st, Halloween. And, uh, yeah, oh, no, no, you have one more. You have more on Wednesday. Wednesday, you have another card review. And then Daily Duels ends that, uh, that Wednesday as well on the 2nd. And then, taking my break. <laughs> and then I'll come back, and after all the channel changes and all that, then hopefully you guys stay subscribed and, uh, support me in my changes. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Tell me what you guys think about Fright for Kraken. And just Fright in general. I mean, we already know. They're, I think they're fairly good. I really do. And uh, uh, in the comment section below. Uh, also, just a little bit of a spoiler. A little bit of a spoiler. Uh, you guys remember uh, Season 2 of You Get Your Draft League where we upped Fluffles up to Tier 2? We already made the changes and arrangements and like, they're not. They're not. So, uh, we're probably going to have to reset everything and repick decks. Definitely, we're going to have to repick decks. So, there's a potential that someone could pick Fright First as their Tier 3 deck and, you know, start kicking some butt. I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll see. We'll see. But I think Season 2 is going to be really crazy. So, look forward to that. That should be going on after my break as well. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And uh, see you guys on Wednesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.